So, um, guys, we're now down to our last fundamental principle, which is the Newton's law of gravitation, which is um, also known to be as the law of universal gravitation. So, ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng law of universal gravitation? So, hindi ko na siya susulat since uh, this one's a, a bit lengthy, but re uh, rest assured na medyo, hindi siya medyo. Easy lang siya intindihin. So, it states that um, every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force directed along the line of centers from the two objects that is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the separation between the two objects. Gets nyo? I mean, personally, nagigets ko siya... Uh, I mean, clearly, nagets ko siya. Uh, pero I don't know sa inyo. Pero like, nagigets niyo talaga to, I know. I, I, repeat ko ah. <laughs> so, every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force directed along the line of centers for the two objects that is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the separation between the two objects. Well, the the later part is um easy mas easy siyang intindihan kung may formula na tayo which i'll give uh, in a minute or two but the first in the first i know the first part i mean it's so clear like uh, every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force directed along the line of the centers of the two objects so like a uh, great example of this one is like kung paano nagrotate yung mga planets around the sun and kung paano nagrotate ah uh, rotate <laughs> kung paano nag-orbit yung mga planets around the sun or like kung paano nag-orbit yung moon natin sa planet natin which is, which is um, planet earth so like they um attract every object parang ganun. like na attract ng gravitational pull ng Earth yung Moon parang ganon so so like yung as what I have said earlier na ibibigay ko yung formula so that the the later part of the definition of this law um, will be clearer sa inyo so like the the gravitational force is equal to um, the g times mass one mass 2 over r squared so where g is the gravitational force ito yung masses natin is uh this is one is the, the the mass of the first object and the mass of the second object and r is um the distance so g is the gravitational constant and g is equal to 6.67 times 10 um raised to negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. So this um this number is constant. Ipa plug in yun lang tong g na to para makuha nyo yung force. So like yung r naman magkuha siya from like ito yung object a natin. Tapos ito yung distance niya from object b. So uh, parang ganon nga. So let's say for instance, um, one million kilometers, one million kilometers yung distance. I, I really don't know kung nakalimutan ko kung ganon nga ba ka layo yung moon natin sa atin. So like let's say for instance, let's, let's, let us assume na one million kilometer yung palayo niya. Hindi naman, hindi naman umabot ng one million actually. Or nakabasa na kalimutan ko na. So yan yung r natin. So I square natin yung r left yung gamit ka, kaya medyo nahihirapan ako. So, basically ganyan. And these two objects has different masses. So, mass A and mass B. So, now, meron tayong isang example. Ay, nako. Wait. Sulat natin siya ulit, pero mas maliit so that um, we can have uh, a bigger space para sa solution natin. So, G is equal to M uh, mass of Object 1 times mass object over r squared, where g is equal to 6.67 times, ah, uh, sorry, times 10 raised to negative 11 newton meter. 
ano nga ba yung unit niya? Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. Okay, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's say for instance, uh, may dalawang tao. So, may dalawang tao sa room. So, si person A at si person B. So, ang distansya nila sa each other is 1.5 meter. Okay? Tapos, si A may bigat na 65 kilograms. While si B may bigat na 80 kilograms. So, the question is that, ila, uh, I mean, find natin kung gano'ng kalaki yung gravitational force nila. So, basically guys, I mean, substitute mo lang siya. Fg is equal to eto. Lagay mo dito. G times 65 times 80 over 1.5 squared. So, anya na naman makukuha natin. So, kung i-compute natin siya sa calculator natin, um, 6.67 times 10 raised to negative 11 times um, 65 times 80 over 1.5 squared. Makakakuha tayo ng gravitational force na equal sa 1.5415 times 10 raised to negative 7. So, ano nga ba yung value neto? Well, um, dimensional analysis. Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. Tapos like, ita times natin siya sa kilogram, kilogram. So, kilogram squared over 1.5 meter squared. So, makakancel yung kilogram squared at meter squared. We're left with Newton. So, and we all know naman din na yung force unit niya is Newton. So, it's uh, the gravitational force sa kanila is that 1.5415 times 10 raised to negative 7 Newtons. So, basically, ganyan lang yung concept ng um, Newton's law of gravitation. Um, which is also known as um, the law of universal gravitation. So, I hope na intindihan ng maayos to guys. And also nga pala, kapag hin I know alam niyo na to, pero like reminder lang na kapag hindi to kilograms, let's say for instance 65 pounds, 80 tons, parang ganun. So, I convert muna natin siya from pounds to kilograms and from tons to kilograms so that same yung same yung unit natin and para tama yung sagot natin dimensional analysis alam mo natin to ba so thank you and next pala natin na na topic ay like yung statics of particles na like nandun na yung addition of planar forces vectors addition of vectors through uh, I mean addition of vectors graphically and addition of vectors um what do you call this analytically analytically you know so yeah thank you so much for watching